Um, Sawbo has been really focused on working globally, but one of the exciting things that's emerged in the past year is that we have a lot of great talent locally that is focused globally. So these are individuals that have incredible experiences and are going out to the world and having impact. Carl had approached us about the work that he was doing on drip irrigation globally. Having this tremendous set of experiences that he has has been really important for us to create content that is accurate and appropriate for the people that he will be educating. I like to call it survival gardening because often that's really what it is. We want to feed the family and then have an income so that the kids can get an education and the, the family can be productive and prosperous. The drip irrigation, that, that was a really fun project because we had a little team of animators and we worked on really three animations. It was about compost, raised planting beds, and then drip irrigation. And really it's a larger three-step process to making a better planting bed and a better crop in the end. Carl would bring us stuff that he would use in the field. He would bring us drip lines and he would bring us buckets to show us and we really got those right in modeling that we know this is what he's bringing out into the field so we can show them that same thing. When we set up a 15 meter or 50 foot long raised planting bed, it's one meter wide, has two drip lines on it, you can have a hundred plants. We put uh, five gallons of water in the bucket in the morning, five gallons of water in the evening, so for that 10 gallons or 40 liters of water, they can raise enough vegetables to feed a family of five to seven during the dry season. Sometimes we focus so much on aid and we never get to development, but long term what we need to do is focus on famine prevention. And so what we're trying to do is to prevent the next famine, teach people how to raise their own food. We say it's about helping people help themselves. In some cases, there are people in prison that are there because they stole food to feed their family. And now in the prison system, we're teaching them how to raise their own food so that when they get out of prison, they can feed their family. We're hoping to pass these off to any and all other organizations that want to use them in their education programs for drip irrigation. Water will help the plants survive the shock of transplant. But obviously, there are a lot of poor farmers who are illiterate. And so even if the handout is in their language, they couldn't read it. And so we're excited about the idea of being able to have a cell phone video that they can pull up and, uh, and learn how to do these things, uh, even though they can't read. I, I really think we can impact thousands and thousands of, of farmers around the world with this project.